Hey everyone, we're back at Epcot for some more Taste of Epcot International Flower and Garden Festival fun. I love trying to say these these festival names now. Um, we're going to check out some more topiaries today. We're going to try some food this time. See some more pretty gardens. I'm just going to wander the park and see some things. Starting with this, I'm at the International Gateway. And behind me, we've got some flower topiaries. And we got another butterfly topiaries. There are a ton of these. There's like, I think, six, six or seven total topiaries, butterfly topiaries throughout the park. Let's head through the World Showcase here. Let's find some food because I am hungry. Okay, we're here walking through the UK Pavilion and uh, I spot Captain Hook and Peter Pan over here uh, near this dining area near the fish and chip shop. are facing off. Very cool. Also in the UK Pavilion is the English Tea Garden where um, you get to see some of the different um, herbs that they use uh, for their different teas. It's a very pretty display. Back here behind the uh, twining shop. Just a nice, neat little uh, gardening display. It's always pretty back here, but it's extra pretty during flower and garden. Over here we got Mary Poppins up here in the, uh, the gazebo. But over here in the courtyard area, we've got a whole big garden built theme to Tinkerbell over there. It looks like we got some of the different fairies houses over here and then one of the nice things in these gardens they do uh, have signs describing some of the different plants that you see here. Of course and over here is the Tinkerbell topiary like I said along this different fairy uh, I'm assuming are different fairy houses in these beautiful gardens that they have created here for the Flower and Gardens Festival in the back part of the UK pavilion. Now we're over in France. Oh, I don't see anything I want to try here at the Fleur de Lis Outdoor Kitchen. Oh, I think there is. Oh, there it is. There is a topiary from France. There's Beauty and the Beast. Get a little closer look. This is definitely a popular photo spot here. Whether uh, taking a picture here or with the fountains. Very cool. And then I think over here is Remy. Yep, there's Remy. Right in front of it, the Ratatouille expansion. That will be opening October 1st. Still need to find something. Over here between France and Morocco is La Isla Fresca. Some interesting things on here, but I don't know if I'm really feeling any of this right now. So let's head on to the next booth. We are over in Japan in the Hanami Outdoor Kitchen. A lot of people get the frushi, that's always very popular, but I think I'm going to get the soy glazed pork shank because I want some dinner. So let's go get some food. So I got the soy glazed pork shank with truffle mashed potatoes and I believe that's a garlic chip. So let's give this a try. So I'm going to try this soy glazed pork shank. Oh, it falls right off the bone. So I didn't need that. Oh wow, this is very tasty. Mashed potatoes are very good. I know I'm bending down here. Very good. I mean the meat literally, literally fell off the bone here. So, uh, seven dollars, pretty good deal. I don't know, no one wants to watch me eat. Would not be a flower and garden festival without a dragon topiary here in Japan. 
always very pretty, always in an amazingly picturesque spot. As you can see, it's getting a little darker out here, so. Walking into Italy, the new gelato shop is Keep coming like along. You're not gonna get any more, knock it off. It'll be open soon. And... Always fun hearing parents yell at their children. All right, going to head over to uh, a little bit more pleasant area. There we go, a little, uh, see a uh, lady in the tramp. There's the lady in the tramp topiary. Always a very photogenic topiary. Right here in the Italy Pavilion, which is all just plants everywhere. They, it's always amazing what they do with the Italy Pavilion, and just they just put plants everywhere. So beautiful. We are over here in the Germany Pavilion now, and Snow White and Goofy right here in front of the restroom with a beautiful garden surrounding them. Always very pretty. All right, it's time for some more food here at the Bauern Market. I'm probably saying that wrong. Bavarian, Bavarian Market. <laughs> got potato, two different kinds of potato pancakes. We got toasted pretzel bread, warm cheese strudel. We might get a couple things here. Okay, I got the potato pancake with uh, ham and caramelized onions, sour cream. We already got the pretzel bread. Both of these are uh, pretty popular at every festival, so let's give them a try. It's getting a little dark, so here's the potato pancake. It's a taste, getting plenty of the pancake in here. Wheel it down again. Mmm, very good. Sour cream. Give it a nice little kick to it. And then, of course, we have the pretzel bread, the ham, and the cheese, and the See all this cheese on the plate? See that cheese? Mm. So good. All in Germany. Well, that's it for this episode of Throat Geek Adventures from the Taste of Epcot International Flower and Garden Festival. We hope you enjoyed it. We'll be back many more times before this festival ends on July 5th. So... Plenty more to see. There's so much to see at this festival. And so we'll bring, be bringing it to you in two, three, who knows how many more episodes of Thrill Geek Adventures. Remember, please subscribe to the channel. Click the like button. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. Stay safe out there, and we'll see you in the parks.